Audio generation just took a major leap forward. This is an app called Suno AI. You are more obsessed with this thing than anything I've ever seen before. So let's get into this. This is Kevin's, This is going to be tough with latency. Like, Do you uh, see this finger? This, oh, it's dropping towards the space bar. Don't you dare shout and don't you dare cry or whatever you do. Don't ask yourself why. I mean, come what? That was like limp. That was limp. That was limp biscuit. Limp AI biscuit. Limp AI biscuit. Heck yeah. <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> the chocolate starfish. The hot dog flavored yes. water. You better keep on rolling, baby. <laughs> it is audio generation, and it is a, a Pandora's box of insanity in the way that I absolutely love. Right now, it's completely free. And it's very easy to use. You go to the Suno Discord. You go into the Suno Sing Alpha Room, Gavin. You can feed it lyrics. And I found that it helps if you put um, verse in parentheses and whatever you want, and then chorus mm -hmm. in parentheses. Or if you have no idea what you want to write a song about, you can actually use GPT right there. And you can say, I want a theme song for AI for humans. Or I want a cover of a Smash Mouth song. Whatever it is you want. Everything. It even gives you an image and the lyrics to go along with it. So it's perfect for sharing. I cannot believe this tool has not exploded, Gavin. I am using it way too much. I am really shocked by what this is because it's the first time, maybe since like the Stable Diffusion times in the last fall when that first came out, where I was shocked by what it did because you hear the audio and you can hear it being like a little bit garbly, but this is like literally the phrasing parts, the parts that surprise me. Like the fact that you can phrase music and it knows where to hit the phrases, it sounds right. Yes. When you talk about the other music models we've heard in the show, whether it's Meta's music model or Google's one that we've done stuff with do you remember only like six episodes ago we had that game where we were playing with google's music lab and it was just like the worst sounding carnival music okay not terrible that's cursed not terrible no, that's this sounds like a two steps from a real song which is insane is, to me it's kind of like you're in between fm stations Right? Like the reception's not yeah, quite exactly. there. It's yeah, a exactly. little up. But yeah. you, you can absolutely hear the signal to the noise in this in a way that is mm -hmm. shocking. And Gavin, when we played with Bark, a text to anything noise generator, and I don't know if you remember, but I was trying to get it to do Gregorian chants and barbershop mm -hmm. quartet. <laughs> you hearing it? Yeah. And it was clearly suppressing its ability to generate voice. And I, oh, that's I was right. like, I, I forgot think it's about in that. there. Remember we, yeah. We heard it say like hip hop lyrics, but we couldn't hear yes. it, right? Oh, yeah. I heard the word microphone. I heard microphone. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yes. I forgot about that. Yeah. And I think there were more capabilities and they were letting on. And as I listen to these tracks now, I feel like there's more capabilities than are being let on. And if you hear the scratchy audio and you go like, oh, it's not quite there. Again, remember, just a few months ago, we were nowhere near here. And if you look at what happened with image generation or movie generation or text generation, this thing is going to be wild. This is like Mid Journey or it's like Stable Diffusion, but for music. And like where and how is it getting these samples of what the sounds are like? When you listen to these clips, they don't sound like anybody that you know. It's not like it sounds like a, a singer you know. But in the same way that like Stable Diffusion creates an image based on all these different things, it feels like that's what this is doing for music. Like there was a track you played. I'm trying to remember what one of the tracks we heard. And oh, it was the Pinky Doll one. And it kind of sounded almost like a James Brown style uh, vocal or like an R&B vocal. And I like, oh, that voice sounds semi-familiar, but it's not yeah. anybody that I can pinpoint. I took, um, if you don't know, Pinky Doll is one of those NPC TikTok influencers. She's a real human being, but she reacts to donations in a, in a emotive video game style Thank you for the way. rose. Thank you for the rose. <laughs> Thank you for the rose. Gang, gang. Rodeo. That's <laughs> <laughs> And so, you know, Pinky Doll has inspired a whole genre on live TikTok. And so I took a transcript of that and I warmed it into some song lyrics. And to illustrate what you just said, Gavin, one of the tracks came out and I, I'm going to play a little bit of it. You tell me if it sounds like a song that you know. Okay.
Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so, um, so okay, there's two songs. There's two songs I would say immediately that come to mind. First is boom, ba, da, boom, ba, Uptown Funk a little bit, right? In the very that's beginning. That's right, yeah. But then what happens in the middle of it, which is really interesting, is it really starts to sound like a Parliament song, which if you're not familiar with Parliament, you should. Good, good God, know who George Clinton is. But it starts to sound like this very kind of like heavy 70s funk song, and it kind of merges together. It sounds great together, but like it feels like there's a transition at some point there. I'm having fun feeding it like popular songs and just watching what comes out of it, Gavin, like if I may. Your stare was holding, Britney's skill was showing, had my wheel was blowing, where you think you're going, baby? Hey, I'll just let you, and this is crazy, but you're the number so cold. It took so, Call Me Maybe in a completely different direction, but it, that's totally believable. That could easily be the arrangement for a Miley Cyrus cover of Call Me Maybe, right? Yeah. Or, or Carrie Underwood. Like, that feels like it's a slight variation on Call Me Maybe. I do hope we don't get triggered by the damn YouTube algorithm for these freaking well, songs. But, we'll have to see what but happens. But here's what's wild, That's my Gavin, question. The- Is it that song, right? Well, that's the thing. It's not that song. Like the YouTube and TikTok, I think we, we think there's an issue with this app and TikTok specifically, but mm-hmm. these are not the original works. Now, the lyrics are, but covering a song is absolutely allowed, it's especially legal. if we're not that's monetizing. Totally fine. And by the way, who wouldn't want a soundtrack to their entire life? Let's say... Let's say your wife stubbed a toe in a trailer. And this is just a random oh, thing that I'm generating, idea. Gavin. I love this. Yeah. My kids, I can make songs You're... that my kids will hate. This will be amazing. Like, it'll be like Any... my daughter got, like, shampoo stuck in her head or something like that. Daughter's got shampoo in her hair. Sun tan bubbles everywhere. She's scrubbing hard, but it all come out. Now she's rocking a funny shampoo spot. <laughs> You're in a long line at Disneyland and someone broke wind. You better fire up Discord and go to the Suno app and make a adorable little ditty. You can have a soundtrack to your life. It is so much fun. I highly recommend everybody check it out. 